her 9000's game room. At the end of 2005, Nintendo released a game called 42 All-Time Classics. Well, to give it its proper Japanese name, Derdemo Azobi Teizen, or as it was known in America, Clubhouse Games. This was a very popular DS game, which basically contained a collection of card games, chess-style games, and pub games like darts, that sort of thing. And now here we have the announcement of a sequel on the Switch. A sequel which over here at least will be called 51 Worldwide Games. So once again this is a compilation of 51 board and tabletop style games from around the world in one package. You'll be able to play these games on your own or against up to four players locally or online. These games include things like air hockey, backgammon, battle tanks, billiards, bowling, chess, checkers, darts, dominoes, golf, hanafundu, mahjong solitaire, president, shogi, spider solitaire, toy basketball, toy boxing, toy curling, and all sorts of other bits and pieces. Now I know some people won't be greatly excited about this because it's not a Mario Kart or it's not a you know it's not a big character driven game. But I think it's quite exciting news. You see it offers a lot of simple little pastimes which could be fun either with family or friends. Particularly the way the world is now this whole lockdown this would be great to play with people that you can't necessarily get to see. Hopefully the price it's launched at reflects the sort of title it is. I'm thinking it'll be about £30. If it's that sort of thing, then I think this could be quite a game and one to watch. I spent a surprising amount of time on the DS one. And I'm just hoping that, like that one, this one doesn't give you all the games at first. That there's basically... You have to play a little bit of each one to unlock them. Because that was great on that game. It meant that you'd try card games and different styles of games that weren't necessarily something you were used to. Anyway, I just thought this would be an interesting title to do a quick little video on, so I think a lot of people will overlook it, and I think it would be a crying shame, so I think it will be just a little bit more special than some people think. Okay, that's Kerr9000 signing off. Keep on gaming!